Facebook. Ow, I just about pinch my lid. Today we're going to do a half face of full of nothing but pharmacy today. Um we're not mixing any other brands. We're just gonna do pharmacy. I'm just playing around curl my lashes. You can see that they curled. We're just gonna do her, this side of the face. I think I'm gonna choose my right side. Love, I love seeing comparisons. So that's why I decided to do a half face. You can definitely tell I curled these. We're just gonna just jump straight in for all you replay watchers. Um, this is Save the Lips Lip Balm. I've already used it on my lips. I've already moisturized with my Calendula face cream prior this morning when I got up actually did a full cleanse. Hey Alicia. I'm not gorgeous yet. Now the hair, I mentioned it in the description. I tried crimping it today. I got this cheap Conair crimper I've had for a while and it just don't do the trick. And it basically just made it look frizzy and puffy. I tried to tone it down. I got it pulled back for the so I can put the makeup on, but I'm not crazy about it. So, ah, I can't do that side. Hold on. <laughs> so we're just going to do this side. This is the VFX strobe primer, the purple tube. Y'all see me use this every day. I do have the silver tube as well, which is like more silicone pore feeling. But um, I'm more. I like. I just like a real nice glowy kind of within. Um, it just depends on whatever mood I'm in, whatever look I'm going for. I could do either primer. This one's going to be more hydrating and better for drier skin. And then the silver tube, which is pore filling and silicone based, it does better with large people with large pores or oily skin. So, eh. so we just primed one side. You can see a little bit of a glow. It's nothing too crazy. Um, but yeah, let's jump right into the brows with this brow pencil in the shade 02. Looks like that. The, you do have to sharpen these, which is, I don't mind it. Let me turn some music on. But, I don't mind it, but, um, because normally I would prefer a retractable pencil. I got something in my eye. Sorry. Um, let me grab my mirror. Sometimes I forget to grab this mirror. It's hard to just look straight into a phone. Never mind, you answered my question. Do you like the stray better? I have drier skin in the winter and wonder. Yeah, definitely for um drier skin the stray is better. I could do both, but um cuz I'm like a combination and it also depends like what foundation I'm wearing or just whatever look I'm going for. But um, they're both really good. They're, I mean, I'm telling you, I used to use like Smashbox, which is like $42 for a daggum bottle or whatever. I've been doing my brows so simple and basic with this pencil, I love it because it's just so easy. It is a pomade type of formula in a pencil. But I'm just like basically filling in what I have. Kind of build my arch a little bit. Of course, I make it um, a more heavier handed towards the tail and not, I don't put as much product towards the front. And I'm just going to clean them up with the stick concealer shade 03. I just have this little brush from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I think it's number that number 18 brush. Clean them up. I do have a lot of wild hair down here that I need to um, pluck or wax. But I have been so lazy with my brows. Like I used to be. They had to be perfect all the time. But I'm kind of more into now of more natural looking brows opposed to something so perfect. 
So I've been toning it down a little bit. But yeah, let me, look how just super fast. I don't even line out the top as much anymore. And then I'm just going to take a sponge and blend that out. You could use your finger or a brush or a smaller sponge. I'm going to have to grab this couple hair right here. They're a little too much. Oh, my eyes itching. I'm sorry. Ah. Okay, so already from one brow to the other, that one looks way better in my opinion. I can even take a clear brow gel just to set it and to make it look even more realistic. Kind of like give it dimension. It's just a clear brow gel. Make it look even more like hair. So much better than this mangy looking brow over here. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and... I guess we'll just go ahead and do our foundation. I want to do Luminous... The um, Luminous Serum Foundation today. This is shade 04. It's good to shake it a little bit. It's got the dauber. So you'll squeeze it to pick up the product. And then you can apply it on a brush or a sponge or directly on your face. This is good for um, aging skin, dry skin, or if you just really like a luminous look. You can definitely also matten it up with powder, but it's not going to be a super full coverage. You can build it up to be fuller. It is very buildable, so the more layers you put, the fuller it's going to get. So I love this foundation. It feels so good on the skin. It's so lightweight. Um, really good for someone with wrinkles or just dry, really dry skin. Or like I said, if you just want like a glowy, luminous, youthful look. When I think of glowy and luminous, I just think of very youthful, healthy skin. We are doing half face, so I have to remember that. Say hey if you are watching, so I'll know that you're on here. This is shade 04. It matches me really good. So that's just one basic, simple layer. I got a little bit on the lid, maybe. And also with a brush, you're probably going to get a little more coverage too. That's just one simple basic layer. I'm going to do a little bit more. Um, I always I have more redness here on my cheeks than anywhere. So I really want to cover that up. But you can see the dewiness of it. But a powder is also going to help matten this down. a good foundation for winter to have like a, a more luminous type of foundation for colder weather because your skin's drier and then like do more mattes in the um, summer but it's totally off. I mean it's really preference as to what you want. But you can definitely I use that word so much, I noticed the other day. I use the word definitely. I, and every time I, I, I think of it, um, I hear, hear the word. I think of that little boy that was on Ellen, and they interviewed him that time. I, don't, I think he was at a roller, a, a, wherever, like a place, Disneyland or Disney World. And he was like, definitely. Oh, my God. If you, Tell me if y'all know what I'm talking about. I can't remember what he says, but I know he says, Dem oh, uh, oh, my God, what does he say? I don't know. I think it's stupid stuff. Okay. Um, so, Luminous Serum Foundation. It's 20... I got my book because I couldn't remember. Twenty two ninety. I get it for half off as an, as an influencer. There is... One, two, three, four. There is only five shades. But, like, see where it says, like, um, if you want a light coverage, 
just a couple drops. The, the more drops, the more coverage, basically. But it's $22.90. That is a little less expensive than the VFX. But I love the way it makes my skin look. Okay, for concealer today, we're just going to stick to the stick here. It's like shaped like a lipstick. Shade 03. It's a light ivory. It goes on like butter. And it's very easily to place. I'm just going to put a line right there to help really um, highlight that uh, for when I contour. It's kind of hard to do a half face. <laughs> With, with contour and highlight or whatever. And then I'm going to just take a brush to buff this out instead of a sponge. So it'll probably have a little more coverage. I really like a highlighted under eye. We do have the liquid also. I just wanted to, I haven't picked this up in a while. Um, I always use it just to carve out my brows, but I don't really use it as a highlighter, and I really wanted to try again. Let's see how it did with this foundation. So, yeah, I've got, I don't know what's going on, like, this morning I woke up and um I look kind of like broke out like I'm like red or I've had allergic reaction or I don't know because I haven't changed anything with my skincare. Hmm. Actually, I did put on some of this Murad um brightening serum and, I, and that might be it because it's really strong. Gonna take the sponge to kind of make sure it's smoothed out. So okay, good enough. Let's set it real good. Um Hmm. See, I want to, I want to, I want to keep the dewy kind of look. So I'm not going to put powder all over my whole face. This is the transparent powder. I just kind of want to set probably a little around my nose because that's where I'll get oily. I want my eyelids to be set really good. I always want to buff out those lines, like... Sometimes you'll get creasing if you put some concealer and stuff on your lids. I'm just going to set around the nose and here I right here. I want to keep that dewy. I'm just going to set that right there. And that's the transparent powder. Go ahead and dust that off. No point in baking. Okay, there we go so far. I'm, I'm going to go crazy with this hair, not wanting to be out of my way. Mm. Okay. Um. Now let's bronze so we're not so washed out. We're using this Sun Kiss bronzer. Love it, love it, love it. Smells like a baby. And it just has such a. I. It's so. It's so good. Like I can't even explain it um best bronze i've ever used really such a pretty color it's not orangey it's not too it's not too cool it's not too warm it's just a really good bronzer i like to uh kind of dab 
my products on first before I start buffing it out. I'm just going to go down the side of the nose here. Really nice, natural, like, suntan. And I'm barely just picking up product and build it up as I go. Keeping it above that line here. And then we can take some underneath to make it look like I'm a little more skinnier. Um, age is catching up to me, so I don't have a very nice precise jawline, plus I've gained weight. And I have a super big overbite, I swear it's gotten worse over the years. And so, like when I was younger, I had braces, but they, in order to fix my overbite, they needed to break my jaw and I was like, heck to the no. So technically, if my jaw was fixed and I was lined up more proportionally, I wouldn't have whatever that is. So that is one of my like biggest um, flaws, I guess you could say, that I don't like about myself. That is a, I'm self-conscious about is my jawline and my nose. My side profile of my nose, I feel like it's big and my jaw if it was if my chin was a little mm -hmm. more prominent i feel like i'd be more symmetrical and like proportion perfectly but because of my my oh look at that and nobody really notices it much but i do so is it, i'm sure that everybody has their own things that they point out of their selves to critique their selves and that is one of mine about my facial features. Okay. Um, now, the terracotta blush in the shade 08. Yes, it's called a blush. It is a blush on maybe darker skin tones or even a highlighter. But um, for me, it's a bronzer. But it's a glowy bronzer. So, I just use a really matte bronzer to kind of contour a little bit. Not, not really. Kind of contoured, but like warmed up the skin and gave it a little bit of structure but now I really want to use some glow like today I want to be luminous I want to be glowy youthful and I really let's see I'm gonna use like a little more smaller brush and um this isn't a warm shade it is a more cooler shade so this would be kind of more like a contour color it's very hard to explain bronzers and contour shades bronzers are supposed to be more warm and give you a little more just warmth and color to the face and contour is going to be a little cooler and give you more structure if that makes any sense whatsoever but I'm not going to go crazy with it but it almost creates a shadow but I'm just going to kind of I placed it here, but now I'm going to blend it in and kind of up in with that bronzer. So they'll kind of mesh well together. I'm going to grab that um, transparent powder one more time because I want to kind of lighten this up and make sure it's a little blended and not too harsh. Okay, now let's highlight. No, let's blush. Let's use blush. Now we're going to add blush. This is the shade Love Letter. It is a darker blush and it is glowy. So we're sticking to that same um, glowy. I look, all the products I'm using today is really glowy. So I just barely put any on the brush, tap it off, smile a little bit to show that cheek. I like to enhance the balls of my cheek, the apples of my cheeks. But if you don't want, if you've already got a full face and it's round and you don't want to draw a lot of any more attention to your chubby cheeks, you can keep it up higher. I like, 
I love really pronounced cheeks. Um, girls get filler for that. I mean, if you've already got like that really pronounced cheek, then I admire you. So, just going to like barely pat it on the cheek area and then kind of dust it back. I'm probably putting a little more bronzer on than I normally do, actually. Tone it down a little bit. So, the idea of blush, bronzer, contour, I want to be able to see where, I want to be able to tell that it's there. Like, I want to see the pinky color tone in the blush on my apples. I like to see the color of the bronzer up here, and I like to see that I am contoured. Um, highlighter now. Okay, so highlight, now we're going to, we want to um, make the cheekbone glow. Where is Hold on, sorry guys, I gotta find the correct brush. I mix them up a little bit. Okay, so probably everybody and their mama has this brush if you've done Ipsy. Like, probably got this brush. But yeah, this is our highlighter palette. You got three shades. I'm going to mix all three. I haven't done that before. I'm just going to basically dip and do every single one. Dust off the excess. And... Just go ham with it today because I really want to glow. So I normally don't put quite as much highlighter, but I am just in this glowy mood. I'm going to put some on my brow bone, not even being precise with it. And I'm just going to go up here on my forehead and on the nose. Kind of down the bridge, but keep it on my side. Cupid's bow, chin, those highlighters are insane, insane, insane. It's like maybe 20 bucks for this, I don't remember, 20 to 22, um, full price retail, and you get three shades, had it ever since I started, and I still have it, it'll probably last me my whole life, um, while that, now I have everything on, I'm going to go ahead and set. Look how glowy and dewy. I mean, I'm kind of got a little crazy with the blush and bronzer today. But I really wanted to look this way. Glowy, dewy, um, bronzery, and like summery. I don't know. I'm just That's just what the mood I'm in. That's what I'm doing. So, we're just going to set it now with this refreshing and fixing spray. Because I want to keep it dewy. Yeah, shut the door. I'm doing a live. I had that there for a reason. I have to lock my kids out. And anybody else have kids that you can't ever get privacy? They have to be in your business. Like, God, can I take a crap, please, without you up in my business? Shut the door! <laughs> We're just going to fan it out. Let it dry. That's going to help set it, but it also is going to keep me feeling hydrated. Like... Keep my skin really hydrated. Now, you can tell from this side to the other, both show that I look alive and dead. No. If anybody's saying anything, I do not see any comments. I see people on here, but I do not see comments. See? Why does it do this? All of you, I have not been ignoring. I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh, stop. I understand how long your video calls. Okay. Uh, sorry, I'm just catching up and see what I missed. So fresh and pretty little. Okay, thanks. Hey, girl. Hey, Erin. All right. So, what are we going to do now? We're going to do their eyes. Something simple. Haven't used this in a while. This is our cream shadow. It's in the sh it's in pink glow. 01. You can take your finger and apply this or a brush. I'm just going to take my finger and just go directly on my lid and pretty much put it all over. Even if I get in the inner corner a little bit, that's totally fine. These are 
a real real pretty pigmented um, cream eyeshadows that do not crease they dry down to like a powdery finish so it's not it doesn't crease in your um, on your lid at all really good for winter too and for dry eyelids or someone that's really simple that doesn't know how to do eyeshadow that very very well or if you are on the go or you're late for work or you want to throw it in your gym bag to freshen up some makeup when you get done might have a dinner after I don't know so it just puts a real pretty glowy kind of just look it has a light pink tint to it and I'm just gonna grab the bronzer actually let's do this terracotta the terracotta blush we're gonna keep it glowy and we're gonna use that as kind of like our transition shade we're just gonna place it right up here so just putting it in kind of right above the crease taking it all the way across and dabbing even more product on the outer part of the lid so basically like the shape of a V kind of and then just keeping it blended keeping it um, trying to blend upwards trying to keep trying to let any product come down because it droops your eye down the idea is try to pull it up so we're always fighting gravity I want no harsh edges this is a really really just simple pretty I'm in a hurry I look and that was the terracotta blush 08 which I also used on my cheeks it is um, to be used as a, a bronzer I, I use it as a bronzer okay and let's just grab a brown liner no 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 what do I want to do yeah let's do a let's do a brown liner in the waterline this is extra last let's see extra last eye pencil shade number four it's a like a brown metallic I'm just gonna take my finger I don't like to pull down on my lid at all I either use this part and just push it'll roll the eye lid out or just take your finger and push on it you don't have to do the waterline this is just preference I think what I should put on my top lid because I kind of want to do something different and do one of these I think I should do this I haven't played with these a whole lot with like a wing but should I try it I have gold too but I think I don't think I should do gold Or should I just do brown and keep it simple? Didn't even think that through. Or I could just do brown and just do like a real simple line. We'll do that. So you don't have to always use liquid for your top line. Some ladies like the normal retractable eye pencil um just a simple line across the top and no wing and these are good you could just smudge this out too probably i don't pull on my eyelid when i'm putting eyeliner on you can a little bit but you don't want to tug and pull around your eyes because that's going to really age you or cause wrinkles and 
it's just not good. Your eyelids and the, the skin under here and your eyelids is like the thinnest skin on your whole body and it's the most delicate. So you want to really be gentle. Even when it's applying eye cream or removing makeup or washing your face, putting on moisturizer, uh, putting on makeup, you don't want to you don't want to tug and pull around around there a lot. I see some girls put makeup on, and I cringe when I see them like they have a brush and they're just rock ramming that stuff all over and pulling on their or doing their eyeliner and stretching their eyelid all the way out to their ear i'm like girl hunty please don't but it's all right you live and you learn um i'm gonna smudge it out just a little and then we'll do some mascara and Maybe even some eyelashes. This brush had some glitter on it. So real simple. Can even take some brown eyeshadow. We'll take this warm taupe, this brown, and I'm just going to put some underneath so that looks a little more smudgy too. You don't got to do the same thing every day. Like, I love switching it up. I have a routine that I normally do, but I love experimenting with makeup as an art, and everybody does their makeup different. So I try to think of that, like, other people might not like that full-blown, like, Instagram face beat look. They just like more simple and um, something a little more easier. So, I'm here for y'all. Now, I was debating on whether I wanted to put a lash on. I feel like I do, just so I could, so you could see how... How much a difference just putting an eyelash on is or I could do mascara and show you how good our mascara is Don't know. thank you Erin so y'all tell me if you think I should put on a mascara so you could kind of check that out or do you think I should put a lash on this is the lashes I have let me show you what I got hold on I lost my little thing that I keep my Ugh. there it is. I swear I think I'm organized before I hit play and then I end up not being organized. Um This is what I got. This is a thick band. I'm scared. So, I definitely have to cut a lot of it off. There I am using that word definitely again. I'm just going to place it on there for a minute just to see. So, y'all want me to put this lash on? Which is not going to look like this. Or, um, you want me to try mascara? Thank you, Alicia. Thick. <laughs> yeah. These things is thick. Is that what you're talking about? That thick band? So I can put on a lash or I could just do mascara. I need some opinions, which I want to see, which I want to see. I think I've got seven different mascaras to choose from over here. <laughs> I'm going to put this lash on if y'all don't start talking. In case you're wondering, these are called Boss Babe. Faux lashes, and I got them at TJ Maxx. Come in a pack of six. Okay, cool. No, Tess, they're not. You have to put glue on them. They just got a really thick band. I'm going to have to cut some off. So you 
I cut it out pretty, I cut quite a bit off because I do not like my lashes to be in this inner corner. It bothers me and it just, it don't look as good and it don't stay on as well. So I'm going to cut this whole end piece off over here. And then this little twig right there, I'm also going to clip that. And hope that these go on good. Because I'm not familiar with this brand. I tried one the other day. It was okay, but it, they were a little heavy. I don't like a real thick band like that. Depending on, I guess, the the lash but usually the thick these real thick thick bands like that are heavier on me and they itch and they just I don't know I know Aaron does it the glue first but I'm just so used to doing it this way the other way did pretty good though but I noticed when I went to wash my makeup off there was more glue stuck to my lid that I couldn't get off but I will do that again. I want to try, Alicia. No, you you tried putting them underneath. I'm scared though. These are so. Too, I feel like these are too thick to put underneath. Yeah, I would have to cut more. So that's what I do. I put I just put on some of this duo. They have different kinds of this. Some's black. Some's clear. Some's white. They have. They have all different kinds of. This has got vitamins in it, apparently. You want to let it dry a little bit, get tacky. You don't want to put them on directly when they're still wet because they will kind of move around. You want them to be pretty tacky that way once they go on their own. But you kind of got to use good judgment because if you get them too dry down, then it's like the glue's too dry. I have, I used to struggle with these, I'm not going to lie. Now, it is, lashes is not something I like to wear very often either. But it, it for sure makes, it just pulls together an eye look and it just makes you look so much gleamier and prettier. Okay, here we go. So I just kind of, I don't know, look down into the camera or the mirror. You can either place it like that or just kind of look down. Stick it right there on the lash line. Mm -hmm. I just kind of push up against it. I can tell it needs to dry a little bit more. I'll take this finger. Wow, these are going to be big lashes. And I don't even know if I got it on there right or not. Yeah, these are a lot. These feel like they're gonna weigh my eye down. They're so big. I usually go for a little more natural look. Holy Jesus. These corners always be acting up. Kind of push up against with my other lashes and we'll put some mascara on there too which will help close them together they're all right they're not my favorite they look a little too fake i usually go for ones that look more like a smaller shorter here and flare out more on the end and they're not quite so thick let's do some mascara real quick we'll just do the zen mascara to kind of seal them together and get some put some mascara on the actual lash itself and then that way you can also put some on this part of the lashes the little short ones here And then we'll do the bottom. Yeah, I feel like this is just 
overpowering my eye. You see how much I cut off. I feel like it's... Oh my god, this is a thick lash. Zen Mascara is $8.99. Or $8.90, I'm sorry. Uh, full price, full retail. I get this for like $4.95, 45 cent or four, $5. I don't know, I can't do math. $8.90 divided by two. And it's one of the most popular mascaras. So good, oh my gosh. Well, can you tell which side is a uh, got makeup on and which side don't? Just kidding. Let me pull my hair back. Or let me just take it down. So let's see. I woke up like this, and then I transformed to this. I have to take some um, pictures. So, for more catfishing recipes, holler at your girl. Look at that. Oh my god. I don't know, these lashes ain't too bad. They kind of look pretty. And then, boom. So much redness. I don't know what this, wow, it's doing this. I could have an allergic reaction. It could have been the, um, that Murad brightening cream, uh, serum that I tried, which I need to stop doing that. I'm bad. Like I'll have a perfect, I have a perfect skincare routine with pharmacy. I use the Calendula face wash. Um, I use the... Oh uh, my gosh, the pore minimizing toner usually. Sometimes I'll do the tea tree toner. It depends on what my skin's doing that day. And, uh, oh my. These lashes are so big, y'all. Um. I'm on my eyesight. Uh. So, Calendula face wash. Min pore minimizing toner. And then, um, my moisturizer is I'll use the age reversant reversist moisturizer usually at night and then this one i've been using in the day the calendar face cream in the day um the age reversus eye cream and at night i also do the calendula face oil and sleeping mask when i feel dry and um the sleeping mask you leave it on all night after you get all your other stuff on you put the mask on it's just like a thicker moisturizer and then you sleep with it and then you wake up the next day and you can tell that you are super, super hydrated. But look how weird. Oh, I gotta do lips. Mm -hmm. Let's do lips. That's what you call ADH, ADD, my friends. Who is that? I'm doing live. What you need? So the lip liner I'm using is what is this? Oh lord! <laughs> he grabbed the plunger. I'm assuming that he backed up a toilet back there. Okay, two twenty two, two twenty. It's like this color. So we're gonna put that on, and I'm just gonna kinda fill in the lip a little bit on the side with it. Half mark. I don't know if anybody's saying nothing. It's doing that thing again. Okay. Wham bam, thank you ma'am. I stopped using them a long time ago. I need to get lip pencils. You're so pretty, friend. Thank you, Dorothy. Catfish and recipes. Okay. Tess, you stop using the lashes. Cool thing, though. Um, it's coming soon. Like, really, really soon. We're getting... Uh, we're getting... Um, lashes. Pharmacy lashes, so... 
So there's the lip liner. I just kind of lined it out and I filled it in just a little bit. I want to use this nude gloss. It is Coral Baby number three. These are so pretty. Um, I love the packaging of these. And they smell... They kind of smell to me like a... Kind of like cake batter in a way. But they're a pigmented, real pigmented gloss. They're not real sheer. They have no glitter. And there's uh, six different shades, I believe. <laughs> I just have the Coral Baby. They're all nude colors. It's so weird just to put like half your lip. So we can, I can fill you in from the beginning just uh, what I put on today. I did the Luminous Serum Foundation shade 04. Let's pull my hair back like I said I was going to do so we can see it. Even though my hair's short, I can still pull it back. So, no makeup, makeup. And I went a little crazy on the blush today, I will admit. I'm about to take a little bit of powder and just go over that just a little bit. I'm scared I have too much. I guess if I have it on the other side, it won't look so crazy. In the mirror, it looks so good. Like, it's so weird how you look different when you look in the phone and when you look in the mirror. So, Luminous Serum Foundations 2290. It's awesome. It's good for dry skin. It's good to give you a nice, pretty, glowy, luminous look. Um, these lashes I put on were from TJ Maxx. False Babe Faux Lashes. They come in a pack of six, and they were all different ones. Concealer 03 Stick Concealer underneath here. You know, in the normal places. And then to carve out the brows. Also use the brow pencil. Shade 02. On my eyebrows and my lids. And Love Letter Blush. Which is so, so pretty. One of my favorite ones. It's actually my favorite. Terracotta 08 Blush. This is what I used for this glowy bronzer to kind of contour. And then the Sun Kiss bronzer is more matte, which is what I used to warm the skin up. Um, on the lid, two simple, um, two simple products. One is the creamy shadow in the shade Pink Glow, just right on the, well, pretty much all over the lid. Then... I used the terracotta blush again on this part, kind of in the shape of a of a V up there on my on my lid. I used the highlighter palette to get all this glow that you see is cut all three shades. That's where you're seeing the glowiness, and I even put some under my brow, my chin, Cupid's bow nose. You see that glow? That is, I'm trying to glow to the gods, okay? Be like, notice me. No. Okay. Lipstick was the two, oh my gosh. This is the nude lip gloss, Coral Baby number three. I didn't forgot what lip liner it was. It was the 220. 220 lip liner with the Coral Baby lip gloss. That's what I have just on this side. And I'm on my nose hairs. Liner. I did the brown metallic extra last eye pencil. Look at this. How it swatches so easily and it will not budge. Put it a little on the top and smudge it out and then on the lower lash line. And I did do a smidgen of this warm taupe eyeshadow. It's just a beautiful 
brown um, and I just did a little bit underneath here and I did also use this transparent powder to set a few places in my face where I would get oily like around my nose and a little under my eyes and to sharpen up that contour jawline. I think that's all besides my spray that I used to set it which is the refreshing and fixing spray and um, we have a setting spray which is the time locker which is what you would typically use but I just wanted a real um, hydrated look and so I used the Be Fit line and um, this could be used throughout the day any many times through the, throughout the day to refresh your skin Thank you, Alicia. Sorry, I'm just now seeing the comments. The brown eyeliner you use looks perfect with your eye color. Thank you, Alicia. I like doing brown sometimes. We even, I, I really love the brown liquid liner too. When I do, look how easy this swatches. When I do my brown wing, I love using a brown with my brown eyes. Uh... Super pretty. Thank you, Tess. Do they still have the highlighter? Oh, yeah, they still have the highlighter palette, girl. It's like $22.90, I believe. It is so good. Yes, the glow. Super glowy. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, you need to catch... Okay, listen. Do not go nowhere, you 10 viewers. Um... You need to really go and look on my website, www.pharmacyus.com slash Cynthia Gosnell, or you can use my sponsor code. If you need my sponsor code, holler at me. I'll let you have it. I'll show it. Or it's also on... Oh, the palette's $18.90. Thank you, Tabby. Um, there are Thanksgiving sales right now. There are buy one, get one free, and buy two, get one free. Um, I know that this is one of them. This is like... I think these are, tell me. I think this is buy one get one free for this one. Um, awesome for shopping for Christmas right now, and a lot of the skincare, the BB creams are on yeah. sale. This, um, this is these are on sale for buy one get one. These are buy one get one. Um, you could get like a summer shade and a winter shade, um, like mm -hmm. such good mm -hmm. deals. And that's not even all. There's so much more to come. And, um, like, they're going to have more sales for Black Friday. December 1st is going to be huge. I'm so excited about it. Like, I did a little sneak peek if you want to check out my Facebook story. But I'm not going into detail much about it. I'm not trying to be, I'm not trying to, like, put it out there a whole lot. Because I really want to wait till December. Um, but... I'm so excited like it's it's and I'm not just saying that because you know I'm so excited like for me as a makeup artist I am beyond excited like it's what I've been wishing this company would come out with and it finally is and I'm like, ah! like I cannot wait to get my hands on it you don't even know so um yeah I don't even know what the Black Friday deals are Ten of everything. <laughs> yeah. The okay. It, this is the bronze dust one. I think I. The other one is kind of looks the same. I can find it. Well, I can't find it right now. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of cool deals. Uh, the rose clay face mask. I've seen that on there. I think it's buy two get one or buy one get one. This is my favorite mask, y'all. And I'm trying to give one of these away, but y'all need to share my videos and let me know you shared it. And you need to follow me on YouTube and Instagram. Let me know that you followed me or subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm really trying to do a lot more with other social medias instead of just Facebook. I'm um, trying to help build my, whatchamacallit. And um, I need your help, but like I'm giving away, I have... I have two items to give away to the person that um, I'm going to put you in for a drawing for everyone that subscribes to my channel and um, my god my mind went blank 
uh, follow me on Instagram. If, you, if you've already done both of those, just let me know and I'll add you in. Thank you, Erin. Thank you, Tess. I know the uh, Black Friday deals. I don't. I know. I'm really excited about that. My email has been blowing up with like every other play, like Ulta and Sephora and Milani and Morphe. There's like so. I've my emails are so full right now because of these Black Friday deals and stuff. And I look at the deals and I'm just kind of like. It's not really that great. I have not seen anything that stood out to me that I just absolutely cannot live without. So I'm excited to see what ours is. So far, even the Thanksgiving sales, I think, are really good. Instagram and YouTube, Tess. Um, I guess that's it for today. I can't think of anything else I need to point out, but I hope y'all enjoyed my half face. If you like me doing this kind of thing then let me know or if you have any suggestions on what you would like to see me do um just send me a message and i'm always up for um recommendations and your input um challenges i mean if it's a makeup challenge you want me to try it out holler and i will see what i can do i love doing stuff like that eventually I, you know i mean i come up with ideas but sometimes i need help trying to come up with other ideas and I also want to do whatever is intriguing to y'all you know whatever you think I want y'all I don't want to like bore anybody so um this is definitely a definitely god I gotta stop saying that word I should do a thing like play a game where on a live every time I say the word definitely I don't know like y'all keep tallies of it and then I give you a free gift or something I don't know like um but I have just is anyone else notice I'm saying definitely all the time? And definitely, and it reminds me of that little boy I said it earlier. There's a little boy that's on, um, they interview him and he's like at a, it looks like a, you know, like a Disney World or Carowinds kind of thing. Like, and he goes, I feel like they're interviewing him and ask him about how he liked the ride or something or. He's like, I've definitely, definitely never been on a roller coaster before. Or, I don't, I, I might be even, it might even be a roller coaster, but help me out. I'm going to find that little video and I'm going to send it to y'all. I'm going to post it on my, on my wall or something so you'll know what I'm talking about. Because I keep saying it. You definitely are. <laughs> Thanks, Riley. Literally. Yep. I, a lot of people say that word a lot. I don't know why I say definitely. It's usually when I'm describing something. I'm like, or, or when I'm talking about makeup a lot, I definitely use the word definitely a lot. I'm like, I definitely would get this. Like, it's so good. Like, it would definitely make you look really good. Erin, I don't know what your word is, but I will probably... I will definitely look into that. No. Next time, you, oh, I say "naw" a lot. And I really try not to say it a whole lot on here. But like in everyday life. Oh, Bradley's, yes. He says you know. When he, especially when you're, um, when you're doing a live or doing any kind of video, you say you know a lot. That is definitely true. <laughs> I say y'all all the time. Oh, I say y'all a lot. But that's okay, because we're Southern. We're allowed to say that. That's in everybody's vocabulary if you live in North Carolina. Unless you just ain't from here. But definitely need to stop saying definitely. What game can I play? What can I come up with while I'm doing a live? Like, if you hear me say the word definitely, you got to call me out on it. Whoever can come up, whoever picks out as many times, whoever can tally more definitely's, I'll give you a free gift. Or... Like, yeah, um, I hear a lot of people say that. I probably say that more than I think, more than I realize. I don't even realize how I noticed that I said definitely a lot. Just probably watching myself. Like, sometimes I'll do a video and I like, I'll go watch myself just to see where I, if I've messed up or what I can work on. I'm such a mess is what you say. <laughs> 
Oh, I know some people that say bless it a lot. Um, I forgot what I was saying. What do y'all think of these lashes? You think they're too much? I think it might be okay if I'm like going out. It's like really glammy. Or if I had more of a dramatic eye look. But for this, what do y'all think? It looks like I don't even have lashes on this side, y'all. I have little ones. You see? But it looks like I don't have any. It looks so weird. I'm telling you. Makeup is... This is why I love makeup. You see this? Like, it just transforms you into a totally different person. It gives you so much. When I have makeup on, like, my confidence goes up. Like, a hundred notches. When I don't have makeup on, I'm like, don't even talk to me. I don't even feel... I will try to cover my face. I don't want... When I go to, out in public, I'm like, don't look at me. I'm so glad I have a mask. Sometimes when I'm grocery shopping and I don't have makeup on, I'm like... But then again, I'm like, ooh, they see this ratchet eye. Like, what could it... Oh, yeah, I was going to tell y'all the other day. I went to Foodline. Sorry, I'm ADD. Hold on, they look good. Thank you, Tabby. Thank you, Tess. Definitely gonna stop saying definitely. Definitely gonna start tomorrow. <laughs> they could pass for Tori Bellas. I don't know who that is. But like, I was in um, Food Line yesterday. No, two days ago? Two or three days ago. <sighs> trying to think of what, if I posted a picture of what my makeup looked like that day. I probably did. But I had my mask on and I was in the grocery store and I went to the frozen meat section and I was looking for those little cocktail wieners. Apparently they're like really popular right now. They were sold out and I could not find them. Like am I looking in the wrong place? And I was looking in the hot dogs and the meats and the uh, frozen section. Like I was like where are the freaking little wieners? And um, they had a... I had to holler at one of the guys that worked there and he had to go to the back in the meat department and ask the meat cutter back there to come out and help me. Magna eyelashes. What about them, Tabby? Mm -hmm. I feel like if you had a full face, the lashes would look so... Yeah, same. Oh yeah, it wouldn't look so crazy. Yeah, same. That's how I feel. I think I'm just over... It's overpowering my eye. Like, it looks really good, like... But I see what you're saying. So, well, I was looking for the little wieners. And they had a call for a um, the, the meat guy to come out. And bless him. He was, bless him. He definitely, no, I'm just kidding. Um, he was so sweet. And he wasn't the typical meat guy that I expected. He was, you could tell he was gay. And he was so freaking sweet and he came out and he was like and I had on mask you couldn't see nothing but this right he got and he was like and I had on nothing but pharmacy of course and he was like uh I'm saying like a lot um sorry I'm ADD I can't read and look different talk girl if you went to Ford and Longview what girl if you went to Florida and Longview look like Grinch went through Terry Bell is Magnetic Eyelash Company. Oh, okay, got you. Sorry, I'm slow. The eyelash is causing me to um, not think clear. Looking for wieners. Okay, yeah, okay, back to that. Look, y'all gotta stop talking to me. I'm gonna put on, I'm gonna take my comments off. No, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna put it back on. Um, yes, I went to Food Line looking for wieners. And the gay butcher man come out from the back and had to ask him, where's your little wieners at? And he was like, what? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> asked him where the little cocktail wieners were. Food line, not Florida. <laughs> well, it was a capital F, L. <laughs> I'm so lost right now. Oh, I'm slow. My eyes are watering. Um, okay. Gay Butcher Man came out, asked him where the little wieners were, and he said, oh, come right this way, honey. I'll show you. And then, no, and then he said, I forgot what order it was in, but he was like, oh my God, you're so pretty. And, um, thank you. He said, your makeup looks so good, honey. I was like, thank you. 
And you know, I should have thought right there. It says, I'm bad for not remind, not clicking in my mind. First of all, I'm weird with taking compliments when I'm out in public. I'm a totally different person. For some reason, I have more confidence on here than I do in public. Like, unless I've had a couple drinks in me or something, I'm really quiet. And I don't take compliments like girls will say, oh my god, your makeup's so pretty. Or you look, I love your eyeshadow or something like that. And I'm just awkwardly like, thank you. And um, that's when I should literally, definitely, no, ha take the initiative to give them like a business card or say, hey, my name's Cynthia, I'm a beauty influencer for pharmacy, whatever. But I forget. And I have business cards. I carry them with me and I totally forget. But um, even though he was gay and he was a guy, you never know, he could have used makeup or like knew someone that done makeup or needed makeup done or he could have done drag. He could have like the skincare we have a men's line like anything and i didn't think of it in the moment i always forget so anyway he realized that the wieners were gone so he had to go to the back and he brought like two big boxes full he's like i found i found i found the wieners no. <laughs> like a whole box right here and they were hoarding them in the back and um so anyway he gave me like three packs of them and he, he was just talking to me about how he does his cocktail wieners and what all he puts in his, and he said, they're just getting gone this time of year because of Thanksgiving, blah, blah, blah. He said, people are crazy over these wieners. I'm like, I don't know, girl, I don't know what I'm doing. And so then I went up to the register to pay. I'm like, these food line workers are like the nicest people in the world, the ones in Valdez. And um, I went up to check out, and <laughs> you're killing me, Smalls. Um... The girl at the register was like, oh, your makeup looks so pretty. And I could have gave her a card and I forgot. But all I said was thank you. And all she seen was this. So I got two compliments on my pharmacy makeup at Food Line. And all they seen was my eyes. There you go. I don't know what the point of my story was, but that's all I got. And I'm going to drop the mic. No, I'm just kidding. Obviously, he's crazy every winners. <laughs> I didn't want to say anything, but in my mind, I was thinking, I know why he applied for this job. No, I know. No wonder. Of course, you're in that department, and I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm totally kidding. Time to go back to Florida. <laughs> Let me go back and read what that said. Hold on. And see if I comprehend it now. Okay. She told me Tara Bell is magnetic eyelashes. Girl, if you went to Food Line, that makes more sense. In Longview, look like Grinch went through there. Why? Because of everybody buying stuff for Thanksgiving? Whew. Okay. Just read. No, 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 no. Okay. I guess I can get off here, y'all. I don't have anything else to say unless y'all want to know another story because I have plenty. The Florida food line. Well, I don't know how the Florida food line people are, but I know the Valdez food line people are super nice and they like my makeup. I need to go back in there and take my cards and just give them to all the food line employees. Just start talking to people. Take me a couple shots before I go. No, I'm just kidding. Next, and I know for sure now I'm going to feel I'm obligated to put on a full face of makeup before I go food line shopping. Because I can't be going there ratchet now. They don't see me. I go half face. Oh. <laughs> yes, they have limits on their items. Oh, shh. I need to go to the store too. Let's, luckily, I don't have to cook. What are y'all doing for Thanksgiving? I have two dinners to go to. Oh no. Sorry. Up a chair and free makeup applications. Oh, you're saying like go to food line and set up a chair and I could. You never know. They, I, they, I used to always see them set up booths to sell news heralds. What do I gotta do to get in that? I can sell some pharmacy 
pamphlets and free makeovers, little fifteen minute mini, little fifteen minute minis or something. I would that would be cool. But I don't know about food line. We're going to my parents' house. Our family is split this year because of Corona. Yeah, I have had. Normally, I have like four dinners to go to, but a couple of them have not been. Um, they're not doing their dinners. Or I went to eat with someone at the. We went with Bradley's dad. Actually, uh, he took us out to eat at Boxcar for uh, Thanksgiving. Yeah. I was telling the other day, um, I was talking about it with somebody, I would love to be able to do glamour shots, but for 2020, like, you know, glamour shots back in the day in the mall, you'd go in there and they'd do your makeup and they'd set you up and they had the poofy hair and you pose weird and all that. Like why, first of all, why did they do away with that? Because that was like the coolest thing ever. And then... I wish they would come out with it again or like if I had the money to open up my own business. If I, you know, I need a good photographer, I need a hair girl, and then I could be the makeup girl. Like me and one other makeup girl. And that would be my, like, dream job. If I actually had a job job, that would be something that I would like to do. Because Sephora is different. Mm -hmm. Sephora was like more retail, pushing sales, and... You had a lot of clients that were really snobby in there. And, well, it was not all of them. But you had to, you had to deal with some high maintenance people. And they would get mad at you when you, something wasn't on the shelf. That wasn't in your control at all. So, you had to deal with a lot. But, like, I feel like a glam, something like glamour shots would be super cool. If all I had to do was just put makeup on someone. And let them get their picture made. And, like, it made me feel so happy that... um they were so pretty and they, you know what I mean? But I don't even know how to wear to even start with that. Hold on, let me see. Got to flip and cook, make a turkey for the first time. I have never made a turkey. I love cooking. Believe it or not, I'm like a really, really good cook. Ask my family. And I love just food in general. Like trying any sort of recipe, make up my own thing. Last night I made, um, I took pieces of bread and rolled them out. I didn't have a roller penny thing, so I used like a glass cup, which worked, whatever. So I need to put that on my Christmas list. I need a roller pen. And, um, I rolled out a, just a piece of flat bread and cut the edges off. I put a little pizza sauce, some cheese and pepperoni, and put another flattened out piece of bread. And closed the ends, and I took a fork and made them pretty, made it pretty all the way around. And then I rolled it in like an egg wash, and then I put it in flour, and I put it in breadcrumbs, and then I fried them. They were so good. It was like a jumbo pizza roll, fried deep fried pizza roll, or like a hot pocket or something like homemade. My kids tore that up. I literally used a whole loaf of bread. I say literally a lot too. Hold on, my mom used to do that with Mary Kay when I was little. Oh. Oh, wow, you can't post pics in here. Nah, I don't know if you can or not. I wish you could show you. I wish I could show you mine from Glamour Shots. Oh, yeah. My mom, I think, has Glamour Shots. Oh, yes. I got my Glamour Shots done when my stepmama sold Mary Kay. And I had, what's up with, I didn't know that Mary Kay was with, with dead in Glamour Shots. And I had a bedazzled jacket. <laughs> Did you have like a poofy bang? And then the... So the whole kind of rave on the sides? What was up with that? But yeah, like... I wish that we could do glamour shots for modern day. You know, like how people look... Um, with normal, you know, nowadays makeup or whatever. So I guess I'm going to get off here now for real. I'm going to help my son with his project. We He has a project he has to do that it's not due till December 3rd, but he's been working on it a little bit every day. And we, we're we waiting on some paint to dry. He has, we have to make an ornament. He has to write a two-page report or two-paragraph report. And it's about a, a man that I've never heard of 
I will find mine. I'll send you a pic. Okay. Send it. Coming over for dinner. Oh, the, the turkey. I've never made a turkey. That was my whole point of talking about the whole thing. I even made a homemade creamy chicken noodle soup last night too. And just whatever. I I just come up with something. And it was so good. We ate, I ate three bowls. Um, Cash, which is the nine-year-old, ten-year-old, he's a little more picky. He loved to eat two bowls. Um, sent a bowl with Bradley to work today. Bentley's friend Brayden was over here. He loved it. He ate two or three bowls. I forget. But it was a creamy chicken noodle soup. And I seen a TikTok that was close. It, it gave me the idea. But I didn't have all the ingredients that they had in the TikTok. So I kind of tweaked it and made it my own. And it was so freaking good. It was literally... It was like a cross between... Almost like a creamy, cheesy potato soup and chicken noodle soup and chicken pot pie in one. Like, it was so good. I have no measurements or anything. Like, I was just putting stuff in there. But, um, okay, girl, I'm going. I'm thirsty. And I probably should do this side of the face. I'm going to take some pictures and post it and then... I'll have to finish this out of the face because I have to go sign up my son for football and because he just got done with football but he's doing football again and um I have to go grab a couple things that he needs for his project oh speaking of let me tell you about the project okay so he has to write he had to fill out this paper which told what when why where who whatever about him then he has to write a two-page he's in fourth grade it's his first project report and i love helping i love doing project reports because my oldest one don't even do them anymore so this is my little one's first time and this is also something cool about being able to stay at home and do my business i could help my my son and not have to worry about can you imagine having to do an eight-hour shift and then coming home and helping a child with a project? Oh no! So we can work. We've we've worked on it for a couple weeks, just a little bit here and there, and um, took our time with it. But he has to write a two-page. I keep saying a two-page, a two-paragraph report about the dude and make a um, ornament, and the ornament has to signify things about him. Okay. Well. I went and got like this big old styrofoam ball. I'm like, you're, I want you. No, no. I hope nobody else copies us. Not, nah, but instead of just having a little ornament, I was like, let's make your stand out. So when you when you hang it on the tree, everybody's gonna know that's yours. You know what I mean? And we, and of course, I have to go above and beyond and be extra. So I got this huge styrofoam ball, and we I have so many ideas. He's got um. Oh my gosh, his name is Charles E. Barry, maybe? I forgot his name. Charles E. something junior. He's dead now. But he was an astronaut. He went to the, he rode on, he went to the, his space and he was in space for the longest amount of time. Like, that's been recorded. Um, I can't remember the aircraft. We forgot all the notes in there. He went to school. He, he lived in, like, North Carolina, he, or he went to school at a UNC Chapel Hill. He worked at Tennessee uh, as a medical, oh my gosh, I can't even remember what it's called. He went to, he has, like, a PhD or something, and he is an astronaut, and he's, like, a super smart guy. He won a bunch of rewards and all that, so... On the ornament, we're painting it like the world, so it looks like the Earth. And then we're going to put, like, the American flag. We have a little, um, something that looks like a aircraft. What's it called? It's a, a space shuttle. We're sticking that on there. We got a little, he was in the Army, too. He went to the Marines. We have some little Army men. Uh, we're thinking about somehow trying to put a moon on there. Um, the, the Tar Heels. Like a Tar Heel symbol, the NASA symbol, because he worked for NASA, and um, a medical cross thing, 
uh, maybe a gold medal, uh, an award. What's that thing like the thing that you hang? We might hang that on there somehow. I don't know. I have a lot of ideas. Um, but yeah, I'll let y'all know how it turns out. But that's all. Thank you. I think Bradley just pulled up. So perfect timing. Have a good day. Get a food line.